based upon the proposals we have received, which we are actively considering, Guyana may have to forego the interest that would have accrued under the debt. The interest is almost the same size or larger than the principal now, having regard to the length of time that the monies took to be paid. The principal sum is approximately seven million US dollars, and the interest is at almost the same level. Why there is a great temptation to settle, though we may have to write off the interest, is that we will have to extend, expend hundreds of thousands of US dollars at the arbitration proceedings and win we may. But at the end of the day, we are dealing with a government and we may have, even after winning, great difficulty in securing payment from a government. An arbitral award, though binding, is difficult to enforce against a government. It's not a private entity whereby you can seize the assets of that entity. Here you are dealing with a government of a country. And it is often very difficult to enforce judgments or arbitral awards against a government. So while we may get judgment at the arbitration proceedings, the judgment may end up being not worth the paper it is written on if we are unable to enforce it and secure payment thereunder. Those are the considerations that are heavily prevailing upon our minds as we negotiate a settlement of this matter. The negotiations are still ongoing and may conclude very shortly, but central to the conclusion will be, while the negotiation is taking place, Guyana being paid whatever sum we agree to, even if it is only the principal sum. That is seven million US dollars 